Hello everyone and welcome to how to create and use templates in Adobe Dreamweaver brought to you by evideohow.com Okay, creating and using templates for a website designed in Dreamweaver is one of the most powerful tools that Dreamweaver has to offer especially for a site with a large number of pages because any changes made to the template outside of the editable region are applied to every single page that it was created from the template. So, for instance, let's say you have a little navigation bar at the bottom of your screen and you wanted to add a new page to it and there were like 500 pages with that navigation bar well, you wouldn't want to have to go through 500 pages and do each one individually. But with a template, you just make one change, and it changes every single page. And unfortunately, when I have designed the first part of my website, I didn't use any templates. Which means when I go back and make changes, it's going to be annoying. So the second time around I did it, I used templates. All right, so there are two ways to create a template. The first way is really easy you say you're creating a new page but this is my website I'm gonna show you a page I've already created just to save time so we're gonna go to my default page so this is my home page for the tip section of my website and you can create a template a couple ways first way is to file save as template and you can use either an existing template, you're going to click the site, pick an existing template, or you can create a new one, and as well as add a description. I've already done this though, so I'm not going to do that that way. Instead, I'm going to go up to my templates, and I'm going to open it. And this is actually what that page looked like as a template before I added some more text to it. Now the other way to create a template is say file new and you can say blank template and you can create a template that way any way any of the styles that you want. But the easiest way is to make I think make a web page and then create a template from that. All right, so let's see you now you have your template and I've already done a little bit of work on this, but as you can see there are most of it everything by default is non-editable which means that when you create a new page from your template you can't edit anything on that new page which makes it pretty worthless so and if you do that it's going to ask you when you save your template it's going to say you don't have any editable regions you're an idiot why do you want to do that basically so let's say see how it says edit region one here well, I've created an editable region already, which is this whole area here, which means that when I create a new page from this, that whole area can be edited. And then everything else is the area around it that will be applied to every other page. But let's say I want to make this bottom piece editable. So I'm going to highlight this area, right click it, and hit Templates, New Editable Region to make it name edit region 2. Look at that. That whole area is now an editable region. But I'm not going to save that because I don't want to mess with my template. So just hit Control Z to undo that. It's also a really cool hotkey in Dreamweaver. And so I'm going to show you now, once you have this template created, what you want to do. And so you're going to hit File, New, and you're going to go down to Page from Template, select the template you want, so this was the tips main template, and you're going to make sure that this box is checked, which is Update Page When Template Changes, unless of course you don't, but you can really do. And you hit Create. Now the reason the flash things don't show up is because you have to save it in the right folder. But if you look at this now, see how when I scroll over the uneditable regions, it gives me this little, eh, you can't do this sign. However, when I scroll to the center here, I can type whatever I want. 
because this is the editable region, which is really cool. Okay, so that takes care of that. The last thing I'm going to show you is what happens when you actually go through and edit something in the template. So we're actually going to hit save this to tabs to save it as untitled to. That's fine. Now you see those show up. And now we're going to change something on the template. So see down here where I can't edit this here. But let's pretend for a second we go back to this template and let's make this copyrighted 2009. Alright, so we're going to save it. And it's going to say update all files based on this template. So if you hit update, now it's done pretty quick. Go back to this, look at that. And now it says 2009, where it used to say 2008. That'll do as many pages as you created from that template. It's an awesome feature, saves lots of time. And I highly recommend you use it if you're creating websites in Dreamweaver. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember to watch this video and all my other videos in high quality. Please visit my website www.evideohow.com.